Welcome to your daily dose of performance tech tips. With your host, this guy. What's up everybody? Today I'm going to talk to you about um, gas porting your pistons. Now as you may have seen, if you have seen, my video of my 212cc John Deere high performance engine with the cam I put in there, 380 lift. Three hundred and eighty lift, not three oh eight that you guys hear about, not two seventy five black mamba, but three eighty. I'll try and squeeze a clip in. Yeah, that was bad. You know why that is? You know why it was smoking so much? Well, I ended up finding out it's because of a thing called blow-by. Now, now I've heard of blow-by before but I didn't know it would be that bad. But I thought it was something I did but no, nope, it's just all that cam lift and all that pressure trying to squeeze it wouldn't want to squeeze at all. All that pressure had to go somewhere and it just happened to be past the rings right through the crankcase sloshing all that oil around with the rod dipper and all that pressure pushing the oil up through the rings yeah I was smoking like James Bond trying to get away from the bad guys that's how bad it was a smoke machine now that'd be cool to put on my car a smoke machine but uh, just don't ask me why I mean it's just it'd just be cool you know who doesn't want a smoke machine really come on now I'd like to shoot fireworks out the thing if I could uh, but yeah, let me show you. Gas ported piston. Well, I would guess this is for like a mild, maybe like a 310 can. What it does is it, all that pressure I was telling you about, pushing down, well, instead of going straight into the crankcase, it goes behind the rings. The piston rings and it shoves them out and it forces a seal it forces a seal now it may shorten the lifespan of your engine bore because it's pushing out rubbing against it harder but you'll get all the power you can get and you won't have that blow by problem anymore and if you still have blow by well gas port it some more not just for like with my 380 cam I'll probably do like eight instead of four. So it guarantees a full seal. And I won't have that little James Bond effect as I call it. Look, I don't know how easy it is for you to see in there. There's the piston ring. And it goes in there. And there's a slight little space where all that pressure can get in there. And then it pushes it out. So you can see. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now all that said, I need to get me a new block. Still got a hole with a super glued piece of duct tape. Well, duct tape fixes everything and so does super glue, so why not? <laughs> Needed a carburetor. This thing's all gunked up and accidentally drilled the pilot hole too big. GX390. You know, need that extra flow. That horsepower torque flow. And if I ever get monetized again, get that YouTube money coming in, it'd be nice to put a turbo on that thing. Even though it won't be EFI, but I've got something figured out. Trust me, I've got something figured out. Blow through and draw through at the same time. Draw through for the high RPMs and blow through. Well, it won't actually do anything. It's just getting it started is all it does. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my tech tips and another thing to do if you ever get like blow by, just boom, 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 boom. And if you have a super serious cam like I have, more holes the better. Not too many. You don't want to destroy the integrity. 
you don't want to go through like five compression strokes and the thing just explodes. I don't know. This is fine. Eight is fine. I don't know if I'd go past eight or not. That's just me. So, hope you enjoyed. That's some good knowledge right there. And don't go past one and two. You can add a third ring. We have to be very accurate. So it's best leaving it to the professionals. So with the CNC machine. So yeah, I'm gone. Peace.